I would say don't stress about school yet because there's going to be a time when you're going to have to stress about it so don't waste your time doing it now. Just get involved and focus on the things you love. like to not worry so much about my marks at that age because I realized later that it didn't really matter and I should have been focusing a lot more on like appreciating what I was learning and what was going on around me and then also just like enjoy the extracurricular activities that I was doing. Um, I fell out of a lot of them when I got older and I regret that, so yeah. Work harder. Give you, you guys like a little insight of, you know, what's it like to be like a UBC student. Because growing in Vancouver, there's pretty much two choices, right? You either go to UBC, SFU, and if you're not really smart, you go to Langara, and then you focus on going to UBC. But that's like the typical life. But since I didn't like go-go here, I have Daphne. Hey. And she's gonna be my resident tour guide around here. She went to school here and she'll give me the whole spiel. She's something along the lines of like, it's completely fine to like go into college and like not know what you're gonna do and experiment. Cause that's like the greatest, safest, safest environment to do whatever it is you want. But at the same time, there's other options for college. Like you can make friends outside of paying fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. That's not like that would be a right. bad reason to just yeah. like the only reason to go to college. But on a more positive note, you want to give us a tour, of, like what you remember. Okay. E even though like it's it's like changed a lot here. Like what what you remember, like walking through here. Oh, cause be before there wasn't like the there wasn't all that before, right? Like everything. This opened up right after I left, so I didn't get to use this lovely space here. Very nice. And there's lots of like new buildings going on, but there's always been construction. Where are we right now? We're. In what is this called? <laughs> it's this new student nest, I think it's called. The nest. But like it's the student union building, basically. Yeah. The old one was like a really old one. So, uh, what did you study here? Um, I studied sciences. I did a combined major in biology, chemistry, and earth and ocean sciences. I just, I remember my first term. It was probably like, you know, nine to five every day kind of thing. Like those, those hours, yeah. So, so that was like Monday to Friday, nine to five. Kind of. 40 okay. hours. Yeah, that's. And that's not, not including like study time and like. Yeah, that's not including study time. So I lived also at home. I took the bus here and that was an hour. So it was like an hour here and then you're here from like, you know, nine to five and then an hour to go back home. And then all I'm doing is studying. So, <laughs> yeah. You must have had a lot of fun. Things here are new. This is new, basically like, the, when I say new, it's before my time. This is new. Uh, that is new-ish. The old bookstores are all different. Okay, let's, let's, let's walk. Uh, let's go that way. I heard a lot of criticism about <laughs> spending all student I dollars. Hated, I hated it. I was like, why did they build that? And then it looked kind of weird, like they put weeds in it. <laughs> and I was like, it's not even pretty. I don't know if it looks nice or not. But we went. <laughs> so the old sub was there. We would go past, like, on one side of the old sub to get to the bus loop. Yeah. And that was, like, over there. So it's completely different now. Anyone in there? No. No? Okay. So you can talk about your experience here. Does this bring you back memories? Uh, a little bit. I remember this. Well, just like biology uh, lectures here, I, I tend to sit like in the back. Because <laughs> um, you fall asleep. I remember these tables. They're like triangles. They're the worst. Yeah, that's how small they were. Like, how do you put your laptop on that? You can't even fit a sheet of paper on there. So, <laughs> that was distinct about this room. Yeah, and then they had that fountain that always froze over in the winter time. Right there. <laughs> and then the tourists like to take pictures with it. Right, and then there's the chemistry building. I want to walk through it. It's actually. Kind of cool because there's a portion of it that's really old, it's really nice, and they often will use it for filming movies. Yep, so all my 
my chemistry lectures would be in here. Sometimes they'd show a couple experiments down there. How do you feel right now? Oh, I remember this actually really well because I remember having like my first term, the first midterm that like I did probably had like 60 something percent on and it was like a wake up call for me. I was like, uh oh, <laughs> I almost failed that. Like I need to actually study. The building where all the movies are shot, inside and outside. It is really pretty. It's like Harry Potter or something. Yeah. This is the business school. That's all the, the partiers and the, <laughs> right? I heard yeah. there's always like a bad rep for like, slaughter kids. I don't know. I, would, I just thought they were obnoxious, but I mean, <laughs> I just thought that of business students in general. For me, my experience here was like pretty boring. I didn't really participate in a lot of stuff outside of just like, school work stuff, going to classes and then like studying and stuff, so I didn't have that much of a social life, but I mean, while I was here and I was like trying to get those grades, but I, I kind of like regret that I didn't participate more. And then the other thing was like living far away also kind of hindered me a little bit from participating because like sometimes at the end of the day I'm like, I don't really want to do anything else, I just want to go Looking back in hindsight, if there's one thing you could have done while you were still at UBC, what would that be? One of the things was like, UBC always has a storm the wall thing, event. Um, so usually you get with like a group of people and then like one person cycles, one person runs, etc. And then at the end you all have to climb the wall. So like, I kind of wish I did that. I think at the time, it was just like, which was the best school? And it was kind of like, yeah, UBC's up there. So I wanted to get into UBC. 